Hey, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Our uh, honor, glory, and praise go up and out to the Most High Yahweh, Yahweh. My Shema, my Shaki, Yahweh, Shah, Yahweh, Shah. Come on, Yahweh. Once again, thankful for the Most High allowing me to see another Sabbath day or Shabbat. Right? Trying my best to rehearse the righteous acts. Still got to continue to clean up, wipe my garment off, you understand what I'm saying, so to speak. Spiritually, not physically, spiritually. Continue to clean myself up. Prepare for the bride, right? Got to get it right. Do the best you can do. Uh, Sirach chapter 4, and what? 28, 26? 26, strive for the truth unto death, until death. Strive for the truth unto death. Don't give up. Don't give up. Don't be a part of the uh, zombie apocalypse, which we're in the midst of right now. Do not be a part of the zombie apocalypse, man. Right? Find your way back to righteousness. Come up out this evil, crazy place. Do the right thing, man. A lot of people don't forget. And they done got sold up in the web. Once again, I talked about the web in previous times. And guess what? It's a sad story. Even right now, social media is a gathering place for those who are seeking for the most high to come upon. Yeah, for the most high to come on down and tighten this place up. Social media, the World Wide Web, it's a web. Whose web is it? It's the spider's web. Who is the spider? Right? People are definitely caught up in the web. Everybody on the social media now want to be a newscaster. You know, they got the big microphone set up, got the headphone, they got to have guests on the show today. They all done turned into newscasters. Even all your favorite idols. All your favorite idols. I said it. All the ones you thought were gangsters back in the days, that ain't commentators, news people, gossipers, gossipers, like a little B-I-T-C-H, gossip. Willie D, I'm gonna call him out. Make it, he's a gossiper now, he write, he, he, he love gossip now, but at one time he killing everybody on the app, I'm gonna kill all y'all. Now, he a cream book. Begging to be, still begging to be in Hollywood. Man, because they didn't recognize him in the 50th or whatever that is, 50 years of hip hop. He crying over that. When he should be glad that they didn't call him so he can get on his knees. Right? But he begging to be on his knees. He jealous because they didn't call him so he can be on his knees, man. He won't knee pads. You understand? It's a simple and evil place out here, man. The place is evil and the people are simple. They done turned into zombies. They done went from being puppets to zombies. Everybody on social media talking about any and everything. Anybody can just jump on there and say anything. I thank the most high you how by Shim Yahweh Shah. I ain't on there all the time. Even though I'm going to be coming talking about the word of the most high want to get caught up in the well huh only zombies get caught in the well i'm going to proverbs man 3 and uh, 22 i was into this message minutes ago or minutes ago camera fell because i did something or i didn't do something but i'm starting over proverbs 3 and 22 a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. Once again, mighty precept, mighty precept, right? Proverbs 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself, foreseeth. When I was in the world, I already seen the move. I already seen what was going to happen and what ain't going to happen with the crew that I was hanging around because I didn't have nobody but me out there. 
But at the same time, I saw that it was a stop sign. I saw the edge or the ledge. I wasn't going to proceed to go no further, man. I draw back. I hid myself, even to this day. I've hid myself from that madness. Simplicity. Foolishness. I hid myself from that. I foreseen the move. Right? I foreseen the move, man. I was sick of it. That's what pissed me off. Because the people couldn't see. They act like they can't see nothing. They were just stuck on neutral, bobbing their head. That's it. I'm talking, and they just looking stupid, bobbing their head as if they don't want to make a comment because they know I'm right. Because they can't come back with what I was saying. But at the same time, just be quiet and bob your head. Simple. Zombies. Willfully. But not knowing that, they, if, that when they continue to show their spirit into this evil place, that's what you're going to become, a zombie. Straight up, good for nothing. Good for nothing. Like dry paper in a fire. you just killing it. Something that can get the fire started. Just like dry paper to a fire, man. Proverbs 3 and 22, a prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. Move out the way. The most I allowed me to do that before I knew I was Israel, move out the way, sir. Move out the way. You gotta hide yourself. Remove yourself. Like the 144 and the remnant, the elect. When the most high call, they answer the phone. And after you answer the phone, that's the message that you get. Come out from amongst them and be ye separate. Right? Move out the way, because something about to happen. Don't wait till the last minute. Do this now. Because the more and more you retract yourself from this evil, the more and more the most I bless you to foresee. The more and more he blesses you to foresee. A prudent man foresees the evil and hides himself. But the simple, they pass on. And or punish. The simple, he call you simple. You zombies. You zombies, you lovers of the world, of this evil, sinful place, man. We, just, we talking about some wickedness, man. Mad evil out here, buddy. Right? A place that's that that's 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 salivating on sacrificing children. A place that's salivating on sacrificing children. That's what we're talking about. Don't be a part of it, man. You gotta wake up soon enough. You ain't wanting that blood on your hand like that. You gotta wake up soon enough. This is a bad place, man. It done turned out to be super bad, y'all. But a prudent man foresee that evil. He know what's gonna come. And hide it himself. But the simple pass on. And are punished. Right? And are punished. So that's got to be uh, a butt whip, so to speak, from the most high for the evil. That's being pushed throughout the four corners of the earth. Right? It's got to be a butt with it. It's got to be. Thus says the most high. Luke 13 and 5. Luke 13 and 5. I tell you, nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. That go for me, too. If I don't hide myself from the evil that's out here, that go for me, too. Right? That go for me, too. Verse 5, Luke 13, I tell you, nay, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. Perish from what? Proverbs. 22 and 3. A prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. 
So if you don't hide yourself or remove yourself from the evil, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. All right? It's a lock you. Except I tell you what? I tell you, Nate, 
but except ye repent, you shall all likewise perish and go for me too. Don't really matter. If I don't if I don't hide myself, like Proverbs 3 and 22 says, it goes for me too. You gotta remove yourself from simplicity, man. You got to remove yourself from simplicity. There is a price. What's the price? He said it's simple, pass on, and are punished. They continue to go forth or going backwards, moving backwards, not making no progress, and are punished. Of course. Of course. Some guy that got to have an outcome, even if you're walking backwards. If I continue to walk backwards and don't go forward, I'm going to bump into that store. Or if not, one of these crazy people around here going to ride by and hit me because I ain't paying attention. It's simple. Like the scripture said, the simple pass on and are punished. The simple pass on and are punished. That's it. Proverbs 15 and 24. Proverbs 15 and 24, the way of life is above to the wise. That he may depart from hell beneath. Want to do y'all get that? Let me read it again. Proverbs 15 and 24, the way of life is above to the wise. What's above? Because right now I'm on what they call planet Earth. So I'm standing on what they call solid ground. So what's above? The heavens. And that's plural. The heavens. Even beyond the firmament. The heavens. Nothing under this firmament that I want to be associated with anymore. But guess what? He keep waking me up. So I got to walk in the midst of it. But as, I, as he keep waking me up, I'm going to continue to hide myself. I ain't in the web no more. He pulled me out. He offered me a way out. He had an angel to free me. So yeah, I'm on solid ground. What's above? We got the firmament that we trapped under right now. But that ain't what I want. Right? I want to be a part of Proverbs 18 and 1. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 14 and 21 or 4 and 21. Right? I want to be a part of that. I want to be a part of Proverbs 15 and 24. The way of life is above to the wise. That he may depart from hell beneath. Right here, hell beneath, even further down. You can always descend. I said I'm on flat, solid ground right now. You can always descend. You can always descend. But walking the monster zombies, am I daily? Daily, frustrated, pissed off, because they pollute. Bad, horribly bad. Right? Indoctrinating your babies with the witch away movement. Huh? With the movement of confusion. Who is the author of this confusion? Who is the author of this confusion? It's both. They allow the people to come into the classroom. Open up your school doors and escort your children inside because they got a meal prepared for them. What is the meal? It's going to be a bunch of men dressed up like clowns, like women, dancing like they're in a nightclub, in a strip club to your kids, promoting to your kids that this is a normality. This is a normality. Right? That's what's in the milk bottle. That's what you feed the babies as soon as they come out the womb. And if you're somebody who, who is deep, knee deep into this world, 
and you got a kid on the way, that's the nourishment awaiting that child. If you breastfeed, that's what's inside that child's body coming from you. Coming from you. Because you ain't planning on hiding yourself from the evil. You want to be like the simple and pass on and think the most high ain't going to bring the punishment. But she said, I tell you nay. Unless you repent, going to perish. One more time, Proverbs 15, 24, the way of life is above to the wise that he may depart from hell beneath. That's right. I'll praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shah. Because I'm living in it. What I used to think was good times that turned into hell of fire situations. Evil situation, right? Bad, man. Sourly bad. But I still got to thank the most high for move, removing me, hiding me, giving, offering me an opportunity to, to be reserved or preserved, right? I don't need to play no more. Put me on the bench. I need to ride the bench on the sideline. I don't need to play no more. Game over. Ain't no ball on the court, but people out there still playing. That look kind of funny out there. They got an imitation basketball. They're passing around, acting like they shoot. No ball, though. It done got bad. Zombies. He removed me from the zombie apocalypse. He hid me from the zombie apocalypse. That's what he did. Did his past tense. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. I got to stay with him. I walk away and walk right back into the spider's web. I deserve what's coming to me, right? Scripture said, and are punished. The simple, they pass on or keep on going until they punish. Proverbs 15, 29. The Most High is far from wicked. Or Salakia. The Most High is far from the wicked. They don't want nothing to do with it. They continue to remove themselves far away from the truth, far away from righteousness. They want to get them a God that they can, they can tell what to do. Like Abraham's father. They want to make them a God, put him in the corner. He'll just stand there all day. I'm going to put some food down there. I'm going to pretend that he eat it, but I'm going I'm to come back and eat it later on, and I'm going to lie to the people and say he ate it. He's just standing there. He made out of wood, made out of stone. He's hollow. He's empty. There's nothing inside of him, period. He's just an image or an idol, something that was in his mind. He carved up, stuck in the corner, and he bowed down to worship that's what you call Sunday morning church. They got images in the church that ain't real, and people bow down and worship. That's what they do. They just painted an image, made a statue, put a picture on the wall, and now people bow down and worship. But yeah, these images Abraham's father had, he, he made, he had many of them, more than the cars over there. All kind of images. All kinds. They are hollow, empty, no life inside at all. Just like these zombies out here. They hollow and empty. The devil stole their soul. Some of them gave their souls away. The ones that souls have been stolen are the people that worship the idols that are put before them. You, your soul has been stolen because you worship man instead of the creator so the, the evil one sets up idols walking around on two feet two legs put him on tv make him look like he got a lot of money he looked like you he looked like me he looked like them but y'all worship him and in the end game guess what you've been lied to 
They don't have no car. They don't have no clothes. And they don't get no money. All they got is fame. All they got is fame. No money, no nothing. But y'all worship them. So you become hollow inside, just like Abraham's father, or uh, idols that he built for himself. He built them for himself and he worshiped. He built his own God and he worshiped. So everybody out here got their own God. They want a God that don't allow them to tell them what that he tell, he tell his own God what to do. I want my God not to say nothing. When I go down the street and break in this stove, I don't want my God to say nothing. Don't say nothing to me. Right? When I go buy these drugs, I don't want my God to say nothing. Don't say nothing. Just stand there. All you need to do is stand there, and I'm going to come and put some food up under you. You be cool. That's the God that people want. And people are allowed, each and every individual, are allowed to create their own God, even in their mind. The God that they want to worship is the one that's going to allow them to do what they want to do, however they want to do it. But you know what that is? That's still an avenue, one avenue from who? The author of confusion. Who is the author of confusion? Because the Most High said he's not the author of confusion. So if it ain't the Most High, who is the author of confusion? Proverbs 15 and 29. The Most High is far from the wicked. It ain't the Most High. But he heareth the prayer of the righteous. So we got to say all praises to the Most High. Y'all by Shem Yahweh Shah for the last part of that precept. Right? Even though we wrestle and fight and struggle and we try our best or trying our best to do according to Proverbs 3 and 22, right? By hiding yourself, by foreseeing the outcome of some foolish or stupid. Be thankful. Scripture said it again and move on. The most high is far from the wicked. Far. He ain't nowhere near them. And that makes sense. Because if you're a wicked person, or you're doing whatever you're doing out here, you ain't got time to be intertwining with the creator. Because he's going to come with some correction. These people don't want correction. Huh? They're going to raise that flag up. They're going to worship and respect that flag. Whatever flag it is, it don't matter. They're going to respect that flag. Whatever that flag stands for, they're going to respect it. So the Most High said, the Most High is far from the wicked. He ain't got nothing to do with none of that, and they don't want nothing to do with him. So there's a divide right there. But, the, but he heareth the prayer of the righteous. But he heareth the prayer of the righteous. But he far from the wicked. They don't want nothing to do with him, and he don't want nothing to do with them. So we got a problem right there. But guess what? Somebody gonna win and somebody gonna lose. But the creature or creation, they done got to the point. They're so disrespectful. They all together on one accord. They think they can whoop the most out. What's going on? You all right? All right? Yeah, they think they can whoop the most out. They build all they little, what they call it? Uh, uh, um, they space crafts and all that stuff. Whatever they're doing, they prepare for their futuristic Star Wars. they making preparations to fight the Messiah. Ain't that something? Yes. Ain't that something? Yes. Man done lost his mind, boy. Never. Man, they done lost their mind. they making preparations to fight the Creator. What make a man want to shoot the moon? Or shoot at the moon? Or blow up the moon. What make a man want to do something like that? You know? Seriously. I English kind of like. So speed up on English. I understand. For Keto English? Yeah. I understand. You understand? A man. You want to shoot a bomb up to the moon. And blow it up. Never. Why? Loco? Loco. Diablo? Mucho. Right? Yeah. Sick. Muy loco. Mucho loco, right? Yeah. I got his call, but he in the back, he listening, 
y'all. I'm trying to keep it moving. Go keep it moving. Just say it's the most high. Hey, but anybody ever told you this? That you could be an Israelite. You read the scriptures? You know about the Bible? Yes. Do you worship Mother Mary? No Mother Mary, brother. Please. No Mother Mary. I know a lot of Latinos, they worship Mother Mary. This is not good. All right? Mother Mary is not no God. She is not the wife of God. She is the mother of the Messiah. Right? Jesus is not God. You got the Father. You got the Son. Right? He's the Son of the Creator. Right? So Mother Mary is the mother of Jesus. She is not the, the, the wife of God. No. No. None of that. None of that. But no, um, if you understand a little bit, this is good. Listen to what you can listen to. You might be an Israelite. You might be an Israelite. You may be. You may be an Israelite. Yes, sir. All right. Mark chapter 1. 23 through 27. Moving on. Mark chapter 1. 23 through 27. Let the most high word come forth. Let the most high word be true. And every man a liar. Mark 1, 23 through 27. And that was, and that was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out. And that was in a synagogue, a man with an unclean spirit. Huh? I told y'all right now, we're dealing with the zombie apocalypse. And there was in the synagogue, in their synagogue, a man with an unclean spirit. And he cried out, saying, let us alone. What have we to do with thee? Now Yahweh of Nazareth got demons coming out of him. And that's what done happened over here in this place. All you got to do is look on the world wide web. Look at what you see. Look at what's being emulated. Look at what's being rolled and pushed upon the people. And they eat it up like a sun, uh, uh, early morning breakfast. Look at what's being pushed on your world wide web. Nothing but evil. Let me tell you something, man. At least. 80% of it is evil. The other 5% out of the 100, you might get some kind of religious, uh, uh, um, some kind of religious forum, but they chopping it up and they putting it out the way they want to put it out to feed their narrative. Instead of, the, instead of telling the whole truth. If you're going to tell the truth, you got to tell the whole truth. Or if not, you tell them a lie. You got to tell the whole truth. Huh? You can't tell a partial, man. You got to tell the whole truth. If you don't tell the whole truth, you're telling a lie. Verse 23 in the book of Mark, chapter 1 again. And there were, and there was in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit, and he cried out, saying, Let us alone. What have we to do with thee? Thou Yahweh shot of never. What do we got to do? We don't got nothing to do with you. These are spirits, evil spirits talking to the Messiah. They recognize him. They recognize him. What have we to do with thee? Thou Yahweh shot of never. Or thou come to destroy us? Or thou come to destroy us? Yeah. yeah. He said, yeah. Not at that time he did, but he coming. I know thee, who thou art, the set-apart one, right? The set-apart one of the almighty Allah The demons said, I know who thou art, the holy one of the almighty Allah And Yahweh shall rebuke them, saying, hold thy peace and come out. Don't talk too loud. Calm down. But at the same time, 
come out. He's talking to them demons that was on his person. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And that's sad. If it's that bad, that's sad. Right? They tore him to get out. It was so much and so many inside of this individual. And that's what happens if you don't hide yourself or remove yourself from this crazy place out here, man. You keep watching the BET Awards, the Grammys, Essence Awards. You're going to have all kind of spirits on you. Just keep going to these wicked concerts, following Lil Uzi Vert, Lil, Uzi Burt, Lil Nas X. Just keep going. Because what you're doing, you're offering yourself a living sacrifice to the devil. Because they are Satan worshippers right in front of you. If don't nobody see that right now, you deserve to get whatever coming to you. Ain't no way you can't tell me that this is concrete and that is grass. It is simple. That is grass. This is concrete. That's it. No arguing back and forth. That's the police, right? This is the Bible, right? No arguing. We know that, right? Yeah. So, with that being said, if you keep indulging into an evil situation, what do you expect to happen? Something good? Wow. Wow. Verse 25. And Yahweh shall rebuke him, saying, Hold thy peace and come out of him. And when the unclean spirit had torn him and cried with a loud voice, he came out of him. And they were all amazed in so much that they questioned among themselves, saying, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? What is this? Who is this? How he do that? What's going on? How he talked to that man, everybody know he crazy. But all of a sudden, he healed him. How? Who is this? What kind of Negro is this? Jesus is a Negro. You know that. You didn't know that. I know that. So that means I'm Negro. Negro. Huh? I'm Negro. I know you are. Yeah. That's why I say you Israelite yeah. in the Bible. I know you are. That's why you're standing there. Yeah. Because your spirit is in connection with what I'm talking about. If your spirit wasn't in connection, you would not be here. Yeah. You would go on down the street somewhere, right? right? And you would be involved in whatever going on out there, right? right. But all praises to Most High, He got you standing here. For however long you want to listen, it's not my job to send you away. Job. All right? And they were all amazed. There's so much that they questioned among themselves saying, what thing is this? What is this? What new doctrine is this? Because they've been used to hearing stuff from the president of the United States, from the mayor, from the governor. But here comes some Negro. Perform a wonder, a miracle. Wow, wow. Oh, who is this? Who is this? I'll follow him. I'll follow him. I've seen it with my own two eyes. The president can't do that. They can't do that. All they can do is tell you a lie. Take your money. When you before you can get your paycheck, they already took some money. Ready. In both pockets. All pockets. Then they give you your check. Have a nice day. A reason day. Yeah. It's not good, bro. Yeah. This is how we living, right? That's how we live. Right? So he said, What thing is this? What new doctrine is this? For with for with authority commanded he, even the unclean spirit, and they do obey him. So they paid attention and they listened because they understood who he was, what he was about, where he came from, who sent him, who sent him. And that's going to be what's happening. But this time when he comes, it's going to be like earlier in the precept because he's coming to destroy the zombies this time. Huh? He coming to destroy the zombies. Zombies ask him in verse 24, but thou come to destroy us? No, I come to make an example out of you, though, to show everybody if you don't tighten up, I'm coming to destroy you. So we're dealing with this. I'm going to continue to deal with it. Moving on. Moving on. 
First Peter chapter 4 and 14. Right? Don't be an experiment. Quit being an experiment. First Peter chapter 4 and 14. If you be reproached for the name of a Mashiach, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory and of the almighty Allah rested upon you. Right? On their part, he is evil spoken of. But on your part, he is glorified. But on their part, they talk evil of him. Why? Because he came and told them the party's over. Party's over. Kick over the DJ turntable, everything. Break all the CDs, turn the lights off. No, turn them off. Party over. So they don't like it. Because it's an evil party. It's not a good party. Nobody got no clothes on. Where your clothes? Everybody dancing. No clothes. Put, oh, turn the lights on. Turn the music off. Turn the music off. This is not good. Right? This is how we moving out here in the world. Bunch of idiots. Verse 14, 1 Peter chapter 4. If ye be reproached or dishonored for the name of a Mashiach or Christ, happy are ye. That's right. Good for you. If they talk down on you, COTP, look at you crazy and say you ain't wrapped too tight or we don't want to hear all that. Good for you because they're exposing themselves to who they are. They're the same ones in Mark chapter 1. The zombies, the ones with the unclean spirits, that's them. Right? Hey, man, you got a hey. phone? You got a telephone on? Yeah, I got a phone. You listen to the YouTube sometimes? Yeah, I'm on YouTube. Come on, Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's what he says, right? I'm yeah. just reading. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, bro. I'll see you later. If you be reproached, verse 14, 1 Peter 4, for the name of Amashiach, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of the almighty Allah rests upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of. But on your part, he is glorified. On your part, he is glorified. Because that's what I'm doing now. I'm standing out here glorifying the creator. You how about Shimmy I was shot. I'm not glorifying this place. I don't represent this place no more. I ain't a part of this place no more. I don't care about this place no more. Why should I care about people who are here allowing other people to come in and push an agenda on children that's totally destructive. Why should I love this place? Love it for what? For what? It's the most evilest thing that you can even imagine. And they allow it to go on. They push every freaking uh, outlet of every, all these people. Back here. All of them. They represent what I'm talking about. They got a commercial representing that. They got to because they end on the scheme. What scheme? The scheme of destroying the creation of the Most High. That's their deal. They all together. Just keep watching TV and you'll see. I ain't got to say nothing. But one thing about it, you're going to agree with it. You're going to agree with it instead of coming up against it. You're going to agree with it. That's what's going to happen. First Peter 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So he done did a good job. He done devoured just about 80% of God's creation. So now we're in, in amongst the zombies. That's what he done did. Out. 
right now, like I said before, the World Wide Web is the web is the web of the author of confusion. It's his web. If you caught up in the web, if you got anything associated with on the web, it's outside of the creator himself getting a message, trying to uh, 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 separate yourself or hide yourself from the evil that's in Proverbs 3 and 22. You're lining yourself up to be devoured. Right? You meet. You're meat for the spider. You're a good tasty meal for the spider. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. So if you don't uh, 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 abide by Proverbs 22 and 3, if you can't foresee the evil and hide yourself or remove yourself, you're going to be like the simple that pass on and or punish. That's what that's your choice. Let's jump up to verse six. First Peter four. Humble yourselves. Therefore, under the mighty hand of the almighty, Allah, that he may exalt you in due time. All praise. When he exalts you or raise you up, you got a job to do. You gotta go to uh you gotta go back to where we were. It's a lucky. You gotta go back to verse 14 in uh first Peter chapter 4. Once he raised you up, once he exalts you, once he tapped you on the shoulder, or once you answer that phone, you go back to verse 14. First Peter chapter 4. Let me read verse 6 again. Humble yourselves in chapter 5, first Peter. Humble, your, humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of the almighty Allah, that he may exalt you in due time. And it's in his time. It's his time. Not your time. His time. Just like that brother just left here, that was on the most high's call. It was in his time. Just like the brother said out his own mouth. He said God had him to come over here and listen for a minute. It was his time. He had to get some kind of spiritual food. We all need it, but everybody don't want it. We all need it, but everybody don't want it. Better come out from amongst them. You get caught up in this place, you're going to end up on your face. That's what they're promoting right now. They want every man to lay on his stomach. Lay on your stomach. Take your clothes off and lay on your stomach. That's what they push. They want every woman to act like a man. That's what they push. Then they go into your children's classroom at preschool and tell them the same thing. And if you got something to say about it, you go to jail. If you got something to say about it, you go to jail. How about that? Humble yourself, the most I said, under the mighty hand of the Almighty Allah, that He may exalt you in due time. But you got to want it, they got to be in your heart. He going to reward you. Second Peter chapter one verse twenty verse two. Right? Second Peter chapter one verse two. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of the Almighty Allah and of your how child. Our Adonai, our Adonai. Right? Salutations. Once again. Second, second Peter chapter 1, verse 2. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of the Almighty Allah and of your house shot. Our outer one. Grace and peace be unto you, family. All those 
that's trying to remove themselves that can foresee the evil and not partake in it and not be like the simple that pass on waiting on judgment jump down to verse 4 whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises those who can abide Proverbs 22 and 3 that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in this world that is in the world through lust having escaped corruption that is in the world through lust once again, escaping, coming out from amongst them, hiding yourself because you can foresee what's about to jump off in this place. All you got to do is keep looking. But if you ain't got the spirit of the most high on you or around you, you're going to get devoured. You're going to have to come on it. That judgment going to have to come upon you. Simple. Once again, verse verse four, Second Peter chapter one, whereby whereby we are given us or given unto us exceeding great and precious promise, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that's in that is in the world through lust, through lust from the beginning, through lust somebody was lusting in the beginning, somebody should have been checked. For lust in the beginning. Somebody was told not to do a certain thing in the beginning. But seeing that they thought it was a good idea to go tamper with the evidence, there came judgment. Because they lusted after what they saw. It looked it so good. It sounds so good. It feels so good. I got to have it. So there you go. If you can't control yourself, you better be kept. You better be kept. Whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature, not the opposite, sinful nature, or filthy nature, unclean nature. Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. The God of lust is in control of the madness and the mayhem and the confusion. Master of being disorderly or disobedient. Master. Jump to verse 16, same book, same chapter. For we have not followed cunningly devised paper or devised lies or some slick, well put together lie that look like it's the truth. Because that's what's on your world wide web and that's what's causing everybody out here to turn into zombies. It's a lie. Jump down to verse causing everybody to turn into zombies. Man. Paying attention, falling for the okie doke. Like in the beginning, fell for the okie doke. Huh? You got bit by an ass. You got bit. You went for it. Huh? You fell for the bluff. You had him, but he would bluff you out. And you believe. Verse 16. Second Peter chapter one, for we have not followed cunningly devised faith. Great way to put it. Without saying we didn't go for the okie doke. We ain't going for the BS. When we made known unto you the power and coming of our master, 
Yahweh Shah Mashiach were, were eyewitnesses of his majesty. A lot of people like to say ain't nobody never seen Jesus. But at the same time, they say they're Christian. They got a cross on their neck. Well, if ain't nobody seen him, somebody had to be hanging on the cross. He had to have a color and a skin tone. How you just gonna hang a man up and you don't know? Get out of here, man. You can't hang nobody on the cross and turn around and say, nobody never seen him. Once again, Scripture said we have not followed cunningly devised fables. That's one of them. Lies, great lies. Another great lie is telling you that you African American or some kind of Negro or you you are uh, uh, what they call us black. All these by words and not telling you who you really are. They hide some from you. They hide some from you. It's called a cunningly devised favor. They stole your or hid your identity. You accepted it. Now we pass it down through generations. Believe it or not, every time you pass that down to a newborn kid coming into the world, you actually destroyed that kid because you have put a lie, stamped a lie on that child because you don't know who you are. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to pass it down to the child. I'm stupid, and the child going to be stupid. And it's just going to continue to roll, continue to roll. But guess what? If it weren't for the Most High, loving the children of Israel, it will keep rolling. But he said he got a remnant, and he got 144,000 that ain't going to bow down to the knee of Baal, or, or to Baal, that ain't going to go for the okie-doke. They're going to search it out and find out who they are. They're going to go out and talk about it. And through the spirit of the Most High, the 144 and the remnant of Israel are going to be recovered. And that's it. Everybody else, Lord, the daughter of Babylon, going to die with the daughter of Babylon. Flat out, because that's where your heart is. Verse 16, for we have not followed cunningly devised fables. When we made known unto you the power and the coming of our master, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. So it won't be no lies being told. He said, I witness. I witness. So you don't have to become a zombie. You don't have to become a puppet. If your brother is an eyewitness to a situation, why won't you believe it? Second Peter chapter one and thirteen. Yeah, I think it me. As long as I am in this tabernacle or this earthly body, to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. I'm gonna read it again. Verse thirteen, Second Peter chapter one. Yeah, I think it me. As long as I am in this tabernacle, as long as I'm down here with y'all, dwelling amongst y'all, and the Most High bless me through the Spirit to come out here and tell the truth according to the Scriptures. I think it me. As long as I'm in this fleshly tabernacle to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. In remembrance of what? In remembrance of what? Who you are, where you who what where you from? What happened in the past? If you don't know what happened in the past or accept what happened in the past, then you don't give a damn about the future. You just a fool. You a puppet and you're gonna become a zombie. That's what I'm talking about. So that's what the scripture said. Yay, I think it me. As long as I'm in this fleshly tabernacle to stir you up by putting you in remembrance. This is a job. That's my job. It ain't everybody's job, but it's my job. Right? So the day come, he tell me to let it go. I'm going to keep it pushing. I'm going to keep it pushing. I'm going to keep it pushing. But as long as I'm in this tabernacle, it's my duty. 
to put you into remembrance, to bring it to your mind, remind you, because we don't we don't got so comfortable over here. We don't care no more. We don't care no more. I seen a commercial or I heard a commercial the other day on the Wiki TV. Man came on TV talking about. No, do we have any last names around here? Hell, I got a last name, but I don't like it. I hate when somebody asks me what my name is. I hate it because I know it ain't my name. You should hate it. Why would I be proud to announce to somebody that my last name is Clement? That's foolish. And you, let me tell you, man, it's sad. That's, that's how you know you're, you're a puppet and a zombie, a dummy. You got to be crazy. Second Peter chapter 2 and 12, man. Don't be proud of nothing stupid. Don't be proud of nothing stupid. Don't be proud of nothing stupid. And you can walk around and tap somebody on the shoulder. If you don't do nothing, but tell them that. Hey, man, don't be proud of nothing stupid. What you mean, man? Be ready to answer. What do you mean, man? If a man walking around here and don't know nothing about his history, when he's walking around, already been stamped with somebody else's history on his butt. As soon as he come out the womb, they give you a social security number, a tracking number. They give you one. They keep up with you as soon as you come out. Before you can even get the first drop of milk from your mama. You got a social security number. And you got somebody in that name. So you already jacked up. Then your mama going to keep telling them the same lie. Because that's all she know. That's all she know. And then some of us, that's all we want to know. We run from the truth. We don't want no truth. But it sounds like you're trying to start some trouble. You're a troublemaker. Just because I want to tell the truth, I'm a troublemaker. But that's the, that's the deal. When you live in an evil place and you're talking righteous, they're going to look at you like you stupid, like you the evil one. Right? Ain't that what happens? You go to the party and they ain't got no clothes on and you turn on the light, they might jump on you, man. You at the wrong party, bro. You need to turn that light back off. Ain't that right, bro? <laughs> turn that light back off, man. What's wrong with you? You got to be crazy. Get out of this party. We don't need you here. But they don't know they need me there. Even the people in the world don't understand they need the creator, whether they come back or not. They don't understand they need him. How, who don't need righteousness? Who don't need righteousness? Who don't need righteousness? Oh, that lady at uh, Target said she don't believe in God. She believe in Satan. She said she don't need no righteousness. Keep on moving. That lady, I remember her. Right? Second Peter chapter 2. Moving on, man. Moving on. Moving on. Second Peter chapter 2, verse 12. Gotta go, gotta go. Right? Second Peter chapter 2, verse 12. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed. Who is that? Who are we talking about? Talking about the ones who made you out of something. That's who we talking about. The ones that's behind the scenes. Not just the president and the governor. Where they getting all these mandates from? That's who we talking to. He's talking about spiritual great power, not blessings. He's talking about these fallen ones. But these natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not. Like I said a second ago, come in there with righteousness and everybody in there talking crazy and you start talking righteous, they gonna jump on you, man. They gonna jump on you. He said they speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. You come in there trying to help them and say, say, man, some children in here, man, y'all need to put y'all clothes on. Oh, you talking crazy. Not knowing that, like I said earlier, as soon as we have a child in this world and you ain't got the knowledge of the Most High and the knowledge that you the children of Israel, guess what? You finna destroy another baby. You gonna destroy that baby. You gonna destroy that baby. 
And they baby gonna walk around in this place. And them people gonna come into that classroom teaching that other agenda. You ain't gonna say nothing. You got on a shirt that represent the flag too. You ain't gonna say a word. But these as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed. Speak evil of the things that they understand not and shall utterly perish in their own corruption. And guess what, family? When you read the book of Amos and Joel and Zechariah and Revelation, guess what's going to happen in the end? What they call Armageddon. Huh? In the valley of the sin, the most I'm going to put a spirit on all the nations. They're going to shoot and kill each other. It's in the scripture. They ain't going to teach you that in the church. They're going to kill each other. Because they don't serve the most high. They serve itself. So he's going to pull the he going to pull a whammy on all nations. And they're doing it right now. It's a slow motion deal. But they all going to get gathered. And they're going to blow each other's brains out. That's in the scripture. But we're going to move on. We'll talk about that when the time gets a little closer. Right? Verse 14 through 15, same book, same chapter. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. Beguiling unstable souls, man. Beguiling unstable souls. You are unstable. Scripture said what? A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. And you've been beguiled or bewitched or you've been charmed. Right? You've been lured or lured through the well. Through looking at this foolishness out here. Through the idols that you love so much. It is ridiculous. It's ridiculous, man. Some of the stuff is, is, is sad to even talk about. But guess what? You got a phone, and when you click on your phone and search out your favorite idol, your favorite rapper, you'll see what I'm talking about. But you ain't really going to see it because you love it. So you ain't going to see that. And you're going to go off on me because I talk against that. Hey, I used to be about that. Ain't nobody better than me. I had rap roots. I had dance. I had all that. So now I'm coming up against it. Ain't no thing, man. And shall receive the rewards to like Verse 14. Having eyes full of adultery and they cannot cease from sin. Beguiling unstable souls. And heart they have exercised covetous practices. Cursed children. Zombies. Cursed children. Zombies. Verse 15, which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Bozo, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Love this place, this place, love it. Full throttle, baby. Full throttle. Right off the cliff. They love the wages of unrighteousness. Love it. That's all you get. That's all you get. Right now, they got one month of pride pretty soon. It ain't no pretty soon. Every month, that's all you get from these people is pride every month. How can you claim Juneteenth or June to be the month of pride? You've been doing it, and that's all we hear about every month, every day. But people can't see it. Why? Because they've been beguiled. They've been listening to them cunningly advised faith. Dumb. Dumb. Most I said, and are destroyed. The simple pass on, they don't pay attention or take heed to the word of the Most High, and are passed on, they pass on, keep going. And are destroyed, though. He didn't leave that out. And are punished. It's a lot. And are punished. He didn't leave that out. Better seek out the punishment. Because when he go to whipping, he don't play. Ask the Negro, he'll tell you. That's why we over here now. Second Peter. Salaki. Yeah, that's why we over here now. We didn't ask to come. Guess what? But you weren't acting right at home. So you got kicked out. You got kicked out. Because you did not act right at home. But to the remnant and to the 144,000 that returned to the most high, you're going back home. Everybody else, that two-thirds, going to fall by the sword. Because they don't want to return. 
Thus says the Most High. Acts chapter 13 and 10. Moving on. Acts chapter 13 and 10, man. Uh, I'm just reading. That's my job. Talk about it. Talk about myself. Because I was just like y'all. Acts 13 and 10. Might have wasn't been as worse as you would, but it don't matter. I was at the same party. Whoever had the party, when they throw a grenade in the door, everybody get blowed up. So whatever I have, shouldn't have been there. It's a lock. Shouldn't have been there. They throw a grenade, and you got the party inside, you get blowed up too. Flat out. Well. Well, no. That's why I say all these gatherings, y'all better remove yourself from all these gatherings. Because I'm telling you, it's going to jump off every time you're going to see it on the news. I don't care if it's Easter, a graduation, or a funeral. It don't really matter. Remove yourself from that situation. Here we go. Acts chapter 13 and 10. That's what y'all do. Children of Israel. I want to act. I am right. I already know he knows. You like to know where he goes. I see. You better act like you got sick. You were acting like that last week. Because I got this. All right. I don't even let me see him. Okay. Just to get a job. Just to my skin. All right. You keep acting crazy. You better have to sit in there week. Right. Acts chapter 13 to 10. It says, oh, full of all subsidies. Subtly and all mystery, though child of the devil, thou enemy of all unrighteousness, or thy enemy of all righteousness. Huh? Let the scripture speak. You better quit cutting up. Chapter 13, verse 10. It said, O fool of all substance, substance, and all mystery, thou child of the devil. Thou enemy of all righteousness, will thou not cease to pervert the right ways of the Most High? Is there any hope in you hold what you got? No, this world going full steam ahead and evil. Full steam ahead, and they still got the curtain down over the eyes of the children of Israel. Even when they hear this, not knowing that they can pull the shade up themselves. Free themselves. But they love living in the dark, keeping it moving. They love this place. This ain't your rest, man, and this ain't your home. I keep hearing all these family members talking about our country. Yeah, hey, you talking about your country. You want you ain't asked to come over here. Our country. You didn't ask to come over here. Now you done adopted this, because you are you've been adopted also. And you know who your dad is. You've been adopted. But that ain't your real father. So this is what you get. It said, O fool of all substance and all mystery, thou child of the devil. Because that's who you was adopted by now. Thou enemy of all righteousness. Will thou not cease to pervert the right ways for the most high? And believe it or not, these scriptures are talking to the children of Israel. But the children of Israel were supposed to be the priests of the world to go out and teach the world the way of righteousness. That's their job. And they fail. And they fail. Genesis 11 and 6. chapter 11 verse 6 and the most high said behold the people is one and they all and they have all one language sound familiar and this they begin to do and now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do so that's what I've been saying you being a zombie 
sitting back watching these people escort these uh, animals into your children and grandchildren's classroom. You ain't got nothing to say because you a zombie. You got your spirit tied into this place. You don't went for the okie doke. You love it. You love it. Let me read it again. Genesis 11 and 6. And the most I said, behold, the people is one. And then what they tell y'all over here, one nation under God, the people is one. And they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. So whatever ignorant and crazy idea come up in their mind, they're going to bring it forth. They're going to push it through. It's going to be a mandate. They don't care how gross it is, how evil it is. Everybody over here together in on it. You got the American flag, you got the rainbow flag, all that's hanging from your White House. That's confusion. Either that or it's the truth. It's the truth or it's confusion. Which one is it? It's both of them. Because this is the place of confusion. And that's the truth. And that's the truth. The most I said, behold, the people is one and they have all one language. Ain't that something? And this they began to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them, which they have imagined to do. Like a cartoon writer or a producer, a grown man that sits, sits around and come up or conjure up animated images for kids. They have a cartoon mind. Bring the cartoon character to life. Start speaking and acting like a little child behind the scene and the cartoon is on the screen. But it's an adult back there acting like a kid. Once again, I said it before. You know what kind of spirit you got to have on you to be an actor? To play 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 different roles? You got to have some kind of demons on you to be able to change and transform and, and, and sink into this character that you portray. Every other character you have to play, you have to become that character. They're them demons. Them demons. Proverbs 13 and 20. Those are demons. Proverbs 13 and 20. He that walketh with the wise men shall be wise. Good luck. Yeah, Proverbs 13 and 20. He that walketh with wise men shall be wise. But a companion of fools shall be destroyed. You heard what Genesis 11 and 6 brought out? A companion of fools. A band of clowns, right? A conglomeration of zombies. They're all together, they're all one on one accord. They speak the same language, they think alike, they act alike. They're about the same actions in business. But this is the land of food. Verse 20, Proverbs 13. He that walketh with the wise men shall be wise. And also, he that walketh with the wise men shall foresee an evil and hide himself. Right? Also, but a companion of fools over here in this crazy place shall be destroyed. That's physical. First of all, it's spiritual. Then it's physical. Because you're spiritually destroyed already. You're a zombie and a puppet. But the day coming when the destruction is going to really come. And it's going to be too late to scream out, oh my God. Lord have mercy. It's going to be way too late. It's going to be too late. It's going to be too late. He that walketh with the wise shall be wise, but a companion of fools shall be destroyed. 
can't, hey, it is what it is. First Timothy 1, 9 through 10. First Timothy chapter 1, 9 through 10. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, those in Genesis chapter 11, verse 6, for the ungodly and for sinners, those of who, who, who out here in this crazy place and can't disconnect from the well, for the ungodly and for sinners, for the unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind. Ain't that what they totally keep pushing over here? Defiling themselves with mankind, one to another. For me and stealers, Right? Y'all heard that? For men still a stealing men, stealing man, making them a slave. Not an indentured servant, but a slave. For men still for liars, for perjured persons. And if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine, sound doctrine is the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding statutes and judgments and laws of the most high. Sound doctrine. Something that's solid. Can't be broken. And the most high say if you break them, you're supposed to repent. If you don't repent, he say you shall be destroyed. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane. For murderers, for fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for whoremongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind. It's what they pushed. For men stealers, it's what they did. Even our own people, soldiers, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons. And if there be any other thing that is contrary to the sound doctrine, Tried to cover all bases. First Timothy 5 and 15. First Timothy 5 and 15. For some are already turned aside after Satan. Ain't no song. It's a majority that has already turned aside after Satan. It's almost a wrap. But we got to keep it pushing. For some have turned aside after Satan. Proverbs 14 and 15. For some have turned aside after Satan and became a zombie. A good puppet and a zombie. Proverbs 14 and 15. The simple. Believe in every word, any and everything that these folks put out here. The simple believe in every word, man. They don't search out the most high. They love the world, so they believe everything the world bring out. Whatever the world promotes, they on board. Dr. Fauci's children. That's who they are. They Dr. Fauci's children. Dr. Fauci said put a mask on. And put a, 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 a face mask. First, you got to put a mask on. Then put that shield over your head. Right? Then put a helmet, football helmet on. Put a football helmet on. Do like I tell you. Put a football helmet on. You got the mask on. And you got that glass shield on. Now you need to put this football helmet on. Do what I said do. Because if you don't, you're going to catch COVID. I need you to put this helmet on, or you're going to catch COVID. Verse 15, chapter 14, Proverbs. 
The simple believe is every word. But the prudent man looketh well to his going. Once again, the simple. If the man said put a helmet on, on top of these other two masks you got on, you going to do it. You believe it because he said you're going to catch COVID. But the prudent man, the prudent man looketh well to his going. Meaning, once again, he looked well into the movement. He foresee, he tried to dig deep into what's being told him before he accepted. But the simple man believe everything. The simple, the zombies, they believe any and everything. Their heart is in this place. They are controlled by a sinister spirit that's getting pushed from this evil government. And everybody vote is stupid. Everybody vote is stupid. Vote for yourself if you don't do nothing else. How you gonna vote for another man to do something thank for you? You gotta be stupid. A simple man believes in everything, every word. Every word. That's how you get caught and trapped in the web, and the spider gonna come start eating. Don't think he ain't gonna eat. The web ain't set up just for decoration. Joe. 24 and 13. The web ain't set up for decoration. You know who the web set up for? Huh? First Timothy 9 through 10. That's who the web set up for. It's whatever. But it's going to get said to the most I shut it down. Job 24 13. It's going to get said to the most I shut it down. Job chapter 24, verse 13. They are those that rebel against the light. They know not. The ways thereof, nor abide in the path thereof. They are those that rebel against the light. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't like to hear the truth. All they want to do is keep loving America. They're going to leave their own country to come to America. Just so you can see evil. I'll pray. Come from your own country to come over here to partake in evil. Because it looks like y'all ain't having a good time in America. Not knowing America set up to be destroyed, boy. Everybody turn a blind eye to these evil agendas that America pushes. Just so they can have a good time. That's what they were doing during the time of Noah. Having a good time. And the most I killed them all. That's what the Messiah said. Y'all gonna be doing the same thing when I return.
which is a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. I love it. Because guess what? Scriptures are right again. Again. Huh? Don't follow a multitude to do evil and let the multitude perish. Scriptures are right again. Proverbs 27 and 20. I'll pray to the most high you by Shimmy I was Proverbs 27 20. I can kill less. Believe that. I can kill less, man. I can kill less. Proverbs 27 and 20. Hell and destruction are never full. So the eyes of man are never satisfied. They want more and more. They still salivating over here. What America gonna come up with next? What roller coaster ride we gonna get on next? They loving every minute of it. Hell and destruction are never full. The more and more I keep seeing these sisters acting like men and men acting like women, every time I turn around, all I can say is damn. The garbage can full, but they keep putting garbage in it. The garbage can full. But that's what I say. The most high say hell and destruction are never what? Never full. But I'm like, man, the garbage can is full. They keep putting stuff in the garbage can. That's all on the ground. You can't contain it. You can't contain it, man. It's all over the place. People don't got lazy. They just walk up and throw their garbage over there on the ground with the rest of the garbage. Because the garbage can't fool. But all praises to the most high. He said, hell and destruction are never full. So the eyes of men are never satisfied. The eyes of men are never satisfied. Bring on them. Keep coming on with it. Huh? Keep coming on with the football and the baseball, the basketball and the soccer. Go and every keep coming with it. Come on, don't stop. Like Michael Jackson said, don't stop till you get enough. Come on with it. Not knowing that they set up for destruction. Proverbs 13. Y'all done become cheerleaders for America, for evil, cheerleaders for the devil. Y'all done become cheerleaders. Cheerleaders. Proverbs 13, 13 through 14, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that fears the commandments shall be rewarded. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. And that's what's over here. Depart from the snares of death. Depart from the snares of death, man. The snares of death, you being turned into a zombie, being simple. The snares of death or it's, it's the web that the spider have weaved that you trapped in, man. Right? All day, every day. All you get is water. Order. Every woman want to be a whore. Right? A whore is the worst thing you can be. Because you'll lay down with anything and anybody. you even worse. You're the worst. You birth all this evil in the world. The whore birthed all the evil in the world. The whore has birthed all the evil in the world. The whore would sleep with a man or a woman or goat, anything. She want to be seen. And she got to have what she got to have. She don't care what it is. 
And if she ain't got to sleep with you, she got her hands out because she's trying to trick you. But she got to have it. That whore will sleep with anything. Anything. A man on man, you more than likely you won't get a man who loves another man to sleep with a woman because he got something to prove. He got something to prove that he thinks he's a woman. Vice versa, too. Also with the women. But that whore will sleep with anybody. How you know them? Because you know them by their fruit. And if you don't know you a whore, you need not to dress like one. Because you're going to be mistaken. But they know what they do. But then when you approach them like that, they want to go to talking like you, you you foul or you out of line. But you're going to walk out the house like that. But you don't want nobody saying that to you. This is the place of confusion. Verse 13 through 14. Proverbs 13. Whoso despises the word shall be destroyed. But he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded. The law of the wise is a fountain of life to depart from the snares of death. Trying to help. The most high trying to help. Keeping the law of life will help you escape the snares of death. Proverbs 15 and 10. He's trying to help. Proverbs 15 and 10. Proverbs chapter 15 and 10. Correction is grievous unto him that forsaken the way. And he that hated the proof shall die. You don't want to hear what the most I got to tell you. Listen to the warning. Take heed to the warning. And keep acting like you're a fool or some kind of something. You're going to die. You're going to die. Proverbs 15 and 10, correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way. What way? The way of life, the way of righteousness. Correction is grievous. What correction? The word of the Most High, the truth. And they say the truth always hurts. So what? As long as it's the truth. So what? Correction is grievous unto him that forsaketh the way of righteousness talking about and he that hated reproof shall die if you don't whoop your kids chastise your children you set them up for destruction you already destroyed obviously you don't like correction to give correction you're gonna raise up another devil just like you second Corinthians chapter one verse nine salutation Second Corinthians chapter one verse nine, but we had the sentence of death in our in ourselves, just like the scripture just said, right? We just read that Proverbs fifteen and ten. They despise correction. They forsake the way, the right way. Those who do not like correction, paraphrase, gonna be destroyed, man. They shall die. But we, it's a lot, verse 9, 1 Corinthians chapter 1. But we had the senses of death in ourselves. We can agree with that. And it's still a part of it if we decide to go back. That we should not trust in ourselves. That's right. How can a man know where he's going? A man going to the most high. But we had the senses of death. In ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in the Almighty Allah, which raises the dead. So, if you're a part of COTP from throughout the four corners of the earth, and you've been risen from the dead and you know it, all praises to you and the Most High, all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Shemiah, Child. 
all praise. Closing again, verse 9, chapter 1, 2 Corinthians. But we had the sinners of death in ourselves. We were zombies too. We were zombies just like everybody else. But we had the sinners of death in ourselves. That we should not trust in ourselves. That what? We should rather obey God than men. That we should not trust in ourselves. But in the Almighty, out of higher which raises the dead. So if you're a part of COTP, you know you're Israel, you're striving, you're trying to keep the commandments best you can. If you're a part of the dead that was raised up, just like a Mashiach was raised up. We in the third day, he arose on the third, we living in the third. If you're a part of this re revival, if you're a part of this revival, you give all honor, glory, and praise to the Most High, your house, by Hashem, your house, shy, right? Tell him thank you. Thank you, Father. So I'm thankful to be able to have seen another Sabbath day in Shalom, in Shalom. Most I will and I do it again. Stay strong, stay focused, family. Stay encouraged and stay endured. With that, Shalom, Shalom.